Okay guys, so for this stage, what you're going to need is a uh, ring of lightning, ice amulet, alchemist satchel, paladins, archers, barricades, arrow walls, tar traps, and clockwork maces. So I'm just going to chuck a clockwork mace. Probably not like completely. Oh yeah, I guess it will. I will place it there, and I need one for the opposite side. Ooh, here's a good one. Sweet. So basically, I'm going to try and hold them off at like the very end of the, the light map area. I don't really care that much about like them getting too close as long as they die before they get in. Whoa! That one going. Winning. Sweet. Next wave is about to come from this side. So I quite like the lightning because it just kind of kills people before they get too close. I'm just going to quickly run back and get a paladin for each side. This wave will be probably the harder one to beat. Not necessarily harder because they've got like fast running people, but just because it's like you haven't got much money or much traps yet, so it's quite slow. I'm gonna turn all those oil pots on. Okay, now I'm gonna rush to the other side. I don't really want them to get through. Sweet. Now what I'm gonna do is get another two mace walls. Here, orky, orky, orky. Looking good. Hanging maces. Sweet. Unleash the horde. Okay, so we got random werewolf people coming in this map. Don't worry too much, because if you got your paladins next to the maces, they should be able to stop them. Okay, I'm going to rush the other side. My trap should be able to handle those guys. Alchemist Satchel. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna get another clockwork mace. And now I'm just gonna stick to the side because it is my weaker side. Sweet. I'm gonna run over here. Just don't want those dogs to get through. I shoot that. Uh, 
So the main reason why you put a Paladin like close to the clockwork is because your own traps can't damage your people. So as long as he's there, they'll just kind of die to whatever. But anyway, now I'm going to get some more this random traps to slow people down. He should be able to handle most of everything that comes at him now. I wouldn't worry too much about like like werewolf people. They're not that hard to kill. Then place the final trap there. Sweet. I'm gonna run across to this side. Place another clockwork mace. Then I'm gonna hey. press V and get Steel Weaver power with Death Augmenter. Like cool. Then I'm just gonna get some more tar traps for this side. And begin the next wave. So as long as you got tar traps, these little runners shouldn't be too much of an issue. Kill them with the oil stuff. That's side done. So you see how they're all like just getting owned. They're not even really making it through. That's really what you want to have happen. So I'm just gonna place more traps on this side. So really don't want any to get through. Lightning that does so much good work against these guys. Cyclop Majors. These guys are a lot harder to kill. Mostly because they do like so much damage. Just gonna freeze them, try and kill them before they get too close. Okay, now I'm gonna run to the other side, make sure none are getting through. Sweet. That's pretty good. Now then, just get some arrow traps on my walls. most of them just doing that.
Sweet. So I've still got a thousand dollars, so I'm just gonna get an archer for each side. And then start the horde. Just gotta kill them with the oil. Oil. easy now. I don't even think I really need to go out and attack anyone. Well, this trap layout's pretty good. I shouldn't have too many issues killing anyone. Ooh, explosive ones. That's why you got the archers though, because the archers should be able to take care of explosive guys. Kill them with oil. Okay, this is the final round. Let's go use some lightning, take out all those archers. Sweet, that's the side taken care of. 